Well, welcome everybody to another body o vlog. I don't know the number. It is a Friday and it is 6 p.m. on this Friday. I haven't done a vlog in maybe a couple months or something. I'd say two months maybe. I gotta check. I haven't actually looked. I have been to my channel, but I haven't really looked at the, the last video I made. Um, but I think I was talking about summer and it's like almost toward the end of summer because it's actually, um, what is it, July 22nd? It's pretty much the end of summer. At least for me, I know when I used to be in school, like the end of summer was pretty much toward the end of July. And then within August, that's when you're supposed to do like back to school shopping and stuff. Um, so it was pretty much the end of summer. At least for school kids, it's for people who go to school. Uh, for me, it's funny as an adult, it's like when summer happens, it doesn't really matter in a way. Like, because it's not like you have, a, at least for me, it's not like you have this, this these days off, you know, like once it hits June, now you have two weeks of, of, of just like, you know, free time to yourself no you still got to go to work throughout summer so like as an adult summer is like meaningless the only time the only season that's not meaningless that's always uh, uh, i don't know i don't want to say it makes sense that's always a big thing is christmas the only season i or I, I i guess it's not really eh, i guess i guess christmas is a season in a way winter season only season that actually matters from school all the way to adulthood or childhood all the way to adulthood is uh, winter season and that's because of Christmas because you always get days off for Christmas obviously and for New Year's Eve but then you have to come back like some people have to come back the following day after New Year's Eve which is crazy but um, yeah, uh, so I'm trying to think of things that I, I could talk about that are body, body odor related. So I had this plan um, from the last one, from the last uh, vlog I did, that I was going to go to all the beaches, to, you know, to really take in um, summer. But I didn't do none of that shit at all. I pretty much just stayed home throughout the last two months because I ate really badly. I ate really badly. And the thing is, when you eat badly, or at least for me, it takes like two weeks for me to actually uh, stop smelling bad. So then I just stay inside. And yeah, I actually had like two moments where I actually just binge ate. And, I and it's crazy that I don't really binge eat that much. I guess, you know, it's so funny. The reason why I don't binge eat that much is because um, I know I have to stay inside. And whenever I stay inside, I get depressed. So that's why, that's sort of, that's the thing that really stays me away from just eating whatever the fuck I want. Also, I get really fat. And when you get fat, you get depressed. Which reminds me, here's another reason why I didn't actually make any videos. <laughs> One of the issues I have with making videos is the fact that whenever I try to make, whenever I try to make something different that takes some, some type of editing or some type of research, I tend to procrastinate and I was going to make a video about depression because I recall having a conversation with someone and they were asking me what do I do to uh, prevent depression or suicidal thoughts and I thought that was a good question and I wanted to make a video about it and I did make a video about it one just me just ranting but then I thought to myself you know I should try to get like some articles that talk about uh, depression because there are certain um, things I do that I know eliminates or reduce depression but I don't know like the science behind it so if I could like throw out some statistics while talking about the things I do uh, in order to reduce uh, depression would be good but Bruh, I'm not a researcher. I procrastinate a lot. I have like ADHD. I have ADHD when it comes to just researching stuff because it's like a very boring process to me. Um, and that's the reason why I was holding up on it. And at the same time, like I usually try to do this research on the weekend and I don't want to fucking research shit on the weekend. I want to just have fun and have the, 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 little, the little fun I can ever have on the weekend so I just avoided it 
Um, and that, that's actually the major reason why I haven't been uploading because I'm, I'm trying to make a, a helpful video that might have some information that we, you know, people can look into and improve the quality, quality of their lives or at least possibly reduce their depression systems, uh, symptoms. But, bruh, I'm just, I'm just a fucking procrastinator when it comes to <laughs> editing videos and researching things and looking through articles to figure out what is a better article uh, that's, that, that talks about depression. Or, for example, exercise is a major component that, that in my life that I use to uh, alleviate depression symptoms or just sadness overall. And, you know, just looking through different articles and just reading them for like maybe 10 minutes and then going to another one for 10 minutes and then you're starting to, you're trying to decide, okay, is this article better than that article? And should I just reference something? And then you're also trying to find like little quotables, like you were trying to find like this quotable, like, oh, um, exercising 30 minutes a day reduces depression by X percent. I was trying to find something like that. And that's another issue because some articles don't have those little uh, statistics that you can use to just validate what you're saying. But, um, yeah, I, I do. Here's another thing I can talk about in terms of body odor related things. I want, I'm going back to, I'm going back to doctors. I'm going back to doctors. Um, I, I, sw I didn't, I'm not going to necessarily say I sworn off doctors, but... I stopped really going to doctors because I felt like they couldn't help me. And um, somewhere within June, I went to a primary care physician, and then I went to a um, a, a gastroenterologist. And I went to the gastroenterologist first, and I broke down exactly what's going on with me. And I was basically talking about TML and all this other stuff. And he looked his face. He was looking at me like this, like like. I don't know what the fuck is he was like looking at me in bewilderment you know what I mean and he was just sitting back and he's like I don't know what the fuck this guy's talking about and he basically said I can't help you and he gave me my money back and I was like well do you have any type of recommendations or people I could look up that might help me so he wrote two people down and I try to research these people but one of the guys that's all the way out in Illinois He's out in another state. I feel like it's Illinois. And the other person is actually in um, Florida, but he's like an uh, oncologist. And I think that has to do with like cancer. So when I try to set up an appointment with him, I was like, oh, um, I have this weird odor condition. And he's like, and like the nurse was like, oh, um, this, uh, the doc, that doctor doesn't handle odor. So I think this, has, this is specifically for cancer related um, issues, so uh, that became a dud. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like within my current career, uh, I do have health insurance. Throughout many of my twenties, I didn't have any health insurance. Well, I did have it, but under my mother's health insurance, I was able to actually go to places. But once the my mother's health insurance, or at least her job prevented you from actually having like, I don't know if it's like joint health insurance or dependent health insurance, where they allow you to add other people to your health insurance. They removed that option. I didn't have health insurance for a very long time. So now I do have health insurance. And though I do feel like it's sort of fruitless uh, to actually go to different doctors, I still feel like I need to do something, you know? I just can't just live throughout my life just not going to any doctor at all. And I feel like if I, if I at least go to all these different doctors and get as many tests done, I can at least compile all this evidence, you know, of me trying, making an effort. And maybe one day I might stumble upon a doctor that'll take me serious and look into it. But I feel like there is a specific doctor that that is so focused on this type of research, but I don't know how I would be able to interact with this person. I feel like there is a specialized doctor that's interested or would love to meet someone like me, but I don't know what type of doctor that is, you know? I didn't want to make it over 10 minutes, so I'm gonna end it right here. Um, I don't even know if I'm gonna put it up, but salute.